It's time for your natural gas scoreboard snack attack. Brought to you by Oak Ridge Utility District. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Nikki. And this is your scoreboard, scoreboard snack, snack attack. attack. So today, the first thing we're going to start with is a grilled mixed berry cobbler. Um, this is a recipe that calls for cooking on a natural gas grill. However, it's a little bit rainy outside today, so we're going to be improvising and doing it inside, which is perfectly fine too. Um, we're going to go through the ingredients here. First off, you're going to start with two cans of biscuit dough, a half a cup of sugar, which I don't have poured out yet, um, a half a cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of blueberries, one and a half cups of strawberries, one and a half cups of blackberries, and one and a half cups of raspberries, um, another half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and then for later when it's done, you can use vanilla ice cream for the topping. So we're gonna get started. Um, Emily has already started cutting up some of the biscuits into small pieces, and the recipe calls for about nine small even pieces per biscuit to be placed in a bowl. And I'm gonna start mixing the berries, raspberries, blueberries, and the raspberries, combined with the cornstarch. So after you get all the berries mixed in with the sugar and the cornstarch in the baking dish, we've put this on top of our griddle here on our natural gas cooktop. Um, originally, this recipe, like I said, calls for cooking on a natural gas grill, but since it's raining today, we're, we've moved it inside with our cooktop. Um, and we just wanted to highlight some of the benefits of cooking with natural gas. In case you've never had a natural gas grill, um, we do sell and install those here at ORUD, and we do still have some grills left in stock for the summer, so now's a good time to come down and check them out. Um, with a natural gas grill, you never have to worry about running out of gas like you do with propane, so you never have to run to the store. You have that constant supply up to your house of natural gas to cook with. Um, they can also be used during a power outage as a backup cooking heat source. Um, if your power goes out during a winter storm or a summer storm, something like that. And also, a natural gas grill offers the same even, precise cooking temperature control that you get with a natural gas range. So, it's very nice to cook with. Um, so, Emily is mixing everything up together here to get the sugar all stirred in with the berries. And then we'll start working on the biscuits also. So, Emily is going to sprinkle the sugar, flour, cinnamon, and salt over the cut up biscuit dough. And then she's going to mix it up really well. Then once that gets mixed up, we're going to cover our fruit here that's still simmering with the cinnamon sugar coated biscuit dough. Once the juices have um, been released from the fruit and everything is good and warm, you're going to put your biscuit topping on top. So while Emily is layering the biscuits on top of our fruit, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we do here at ORUD. Um, we are the natural gas company in this area, and we also sell and install natural gas appliances. Um, we have a professional installation and inspection crew. So if you are in the market for a natural gas range, a grill, even water heaters, um, gas dryers, fireplaces, anything like that, we can easily come out to your home and offer a free pre-installation estimate and we run specials on installs and, and things like that. So we're actually launching a new website here in the next little bit. So we'll get these recipes up on there and also check there for installation specials and, and special offers that we have. Okay, so once you put your biscuit dough on top of your cobbler, you're going to cover it with aluminum foil. You're gonna put it in the oven and cook 10 minutes with aluminum foil on and 10 minutes off at 350 degrees. So after we've cooked it 10 minutes with aluminum foil over it and 10 minutes with it off, it comes out of the oven popping hot or off your grill and then it's ready to serve. My favorite part, getting to taste. Is it good? Mm-hmm. So good. 
So you can find this recipe at our website at www.orud.org. And this has been your scoreboard, scoreboard snack attack. attack.